this case is a PET CT from Canon. So again, a brand new camera to the market, which we can obviously display in our multimodality viewer. Uh, here we have a an actual workflow that was built for this particular case. So instead of having my default workflow, I have named this workflow one PET plus one CT ACE, which is their CT reconstruction. And I only have these three layouts, which is how I decided to build this particular workflow. So I have my default layout, which will come up right away with the data sets uh, displayed. And then I can switch to any other uh, layout that I want. So here again, I've built the one with uh, only transverse view and the MIP. So fully customizable, like I mentioned before, it's a uh, it's just a matter of, of telling us what, uh, what you want in a workflow. And that's it. So uh, this case is a PSMA case. Uh, if I go back here, uh, again, I can use uh, this case to show you again the uh, single click segmentation. If I click on it, I can choose STV threshold. As you can see, I can use my preset, but I can scroll up with the wheel of the mouse to any value that I want and the effect is reflected on the image as I scroll through the values. So if I stop here at an SUV of 10, and I'll just create volumes for the salivary glands. So here in a few seconds, I created four different volumes. If I want to see the statistics of those volumes, and I don't have in this particular workflow a layout with the stats uh, box, I can simply hover above the regions that I've created, and it will give me my values uh, overlaid on the image. I can do that for each of them. If I right click on any of those regions, I have a lot of options that I can do. I can change the color. Uh, I can, you know, invert the region position. I can duplicate it. I can get from a region. I can use that region as a reference and calculate a smaller region uh, for the metabolic peak or the MTV. I can split that region to smaller volumes. I could use that region as a reference for SUVR, uh, delete it, rename it, and of course I can export it as a DICOM segmentation uh, to, to keep it for a future comparison. Those are my options. Obviously there are many ways to create volumes of interest, uh, like the ellipsoid. We can do a 2D uh, ellipse as well. We can do a new paintbrush. So that would be a manual mode where you can manually draw a region and then skip over a few slices and then draw again. And the software will interpolate between the regions that I've drawn. So as you can see, it does a very nice job to do the interpolation. Since we're looking at different tools, uh, let's look at uh, measurements. So you can do a measurement and then let go of the button and it goes away. Or if you want to keep that measurement, then you can simply click and click again. And then as part of the annotation list, you will see your, your measurement. You can do annotations as well. So test, you can use the corner to point an arrow. And again, they are present in the annotation list so that if uh, further along your, your review, uh, you're scrolling through and then you want to go back to where you drew the measurement, you can simply double click and it will triangulate back to that uh, to that slice. Same thing for the, the segments. You can always double click and it will go back to the different uh, volume of interest that you've drawn. So lots of uh, tools available. And uh, just a nice example of a, of a workflow uh, that is created to certain specification. Showing the versatility of uh, the software.